What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, according to longtime trainer, mentor, big brother figure, father figure of undefeated three division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at super featherweight, the WBA regular title at lightweight and junior welterweight, that being none other than superstar boxer Javante Tang Davis who is now 29 wins, no losses, no draws, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He's coming off the biggest win of his career when he dominated, and I mean dominated, his massive, mega, highly lucrative, highly anticipated showdown with lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Ryan Ryan Garcia, to which he dropped Ryan Garcia in the second round, then he stopped him in the seventh round with a liver shot. With that said, Javante Tank Davis did 1.2 to 1.4 million pay-per-views. He did a $22 million gate, fifth highest gate in uh, Las Vegas boxing history. But with that said, everybody's focused on what's next. And a lot of people point to this man, Undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion, former unified super featherweight world champion, superstar boxer Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is 20 wins, no losses, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, five foot eight with a 67 inch arm reach. Now it's interesting because Shakur Stevenson, like Javante Tank Davis, are both southpaws. They're technicians. They're both, you know, highly skilled. They both have high ring IQ. They're both fundamentally sound. Shakur Stevenson has a better defense than Javante Tank Davis, and Javante Tank Davis has more power than Shakur Stevenson. So with that said, uh, the rubber will have to meet the road when they face off. Can Javante Tank Davis land on Shakur Stevenson, and can Shakur Stevenson, if he gets hit by Javante Tank Davis, if and when he gets hit, can he take Javante Tank Davis's punch? So recently, Coach Calvin Ford, he was done an interview and he was asked uh, about the fact that Tank Davis was asked about who does he want to fight next? What three guys are on his radar? And he didn't want to say any. He didn't want to mention any names. And so the reporter that was talking to Javante Tank Davis, he mentioned the names. He mentioned undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 29 wins, no loss and no draw. Uh, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. And he also mentioned two time Olympic gold medalist, three division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer Vas Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, who has 17 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach. Now, Devin Haney and Lomachenko are going to fight May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And the third person was Shakur Stevenson. And when mentioned, um, the reporter mentioned those fighters, he stated, well, what about Shakur Stevenson? And he said, yeah, him too. Right. And I know some things about him. And so with that said, Coach Calvin was asked about that. And Coach Calvin, he stated, they know some secrets about Shakur Stevenson. That they have learned, obviously, Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis have grew up together in the boxing world. Many of these fighters, so did Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson, so did Devin Haney and Tank Davis. So Coach Calvin said that we know some things about Shakur Stevenson and we know that Tank Davis is going to come right out, be aggressive and come right after him. He's going to blitz him is what Coach Calvin stated. Right. He said, well, I'll leave that to when the signature is signed. When the signature is signed, then you'll find out we know those weaknesses that Shakur Stevenson have. Obviously, you know, uh, everybody says that when it comes to the sport of boxing. But Javante Tank Davis, Coach Calvin Ford are very familiar with Shakur Stevenson. So they would definitely have anything, any insight. But I believe the last time they sparred or were around one another in that uh, magnitude, I think that that was a long ways off. I think Shakur Stevenson has matured and I think Tank has matured. This is going to be a high speed chess match between Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis. Now I know people look at Javante Tank Davis having that ultimate 
equalizing power and they feel like, well, Shakur Stevenson is not going to be able to absorb and take Javante Tank Davis's punches. And so they expect uh, Tank Davis to knock out Shakur Stevenson. Right. And from what Coach Calvin stated, he said, we're going to come right after him. We're going to blitz him. OK, we know some things about him. They also uttered the same sentiments when it came to Ryan Garcia and they did the polar opposite because as soon as the bell rang, Tank Davis was fighting on the back foot and allowing his opponent, Ryan Garcia, to come to him as he did in the fight with Mario Barrios, Leo Santa Cruz, Isaac Cruz, um, and uh, to a degree, to a degree, Rolando Roley Romero, because in the beginning of the Roley fight, he started to pressure Roley. But then he saw Roley was extra, extra aggressive. So he started to fight him off the back foot. The only fighter he came out super aggressive with was his last fight, January 7th. Uh, well, not his last fight, but the January 7th fight with Hector Garcia. He came out with the high guard and he came out putting extreme pressure on Hector Garcia. Uh, so that's the only time in recent memory that we see Javante Tank Davis absolutely come out and blitz his opponent. And I don't see Javante Tank Davis coming out and absolutely blitzing Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson, again, like I stated, has the highest hit and not get hit percentage, the best defense in the sport of boxing. Right. He's matured. He's a southpaw as well. He's a technician. He's bigger than Tank Davis. And, you know, he's elusive. So I don't think Tank Davis will come out and shoot his load and just throw caution in the wind and try to land on Shakur Stevenson. Javante Tank Davis is more of a technical um, strategic boxer puncher. That's who he is. That's what he does. He just happens to have the ultimate equalizing power that if he touch you in the right place, you're out of there, right? Whether that be to the body, like we saw in two fights and like that's like, it could be up top to the, to the chin. It could be on the temple. It could be on the eye. Like we saw in Hector Garcia for Leo Santa Cruz. It was on the chin for Hector Garcia it was on the eye, you know, uh, and for Mario Barros to the ribs Ryan Garcia to the ribs, you know, so, uh, you know, he, he can present so many different ways to defeat his opponent, uh, and knock him out when he touches him, you know, and Shakur Stevenson, he doesn't get hit. And when he don't want to get hit completely slim swim without getting wet, he can do that as well. Right. So, um, do they feel like they see things in Shakur Stevenson they can exploit? I'm sure. But will they come out and blitz Shakur Stevenson? I highly doubt that, right? I think it's going to be a technical chess match. Tank Davis is going to try to put pressure on him. He's going to try and be more aggressive with Shakur because Shakur is a counterpuncher. He's elusive. He's a defensive first fighter. So I think that Tank will try to take the fight to him. But I don't think he'll blitz him and be overly aggressive. And we saw Coach Kenny, another father figure, mentor, big brother, uh, figure for Javante Tank Davis, who is the co-trainer. Uh, he stated that they've been studying Shakur for quite some time. They think that Shakur is even better than Devin Haney, and they think he presents the toughest challenge for uh, Javante Tank Davis. Um, I think they both present an extremely tough challenge for Javante Tank Davis, right? And I can see why Coach Kenny would say such a thing because of Shakur's defense his uh, ability to slip punches, you know, um, his counter punch ability, his defense is sharper than Devin Haney's. Now, Devin Haney, like Coach Kenny stated, arguably has the best jab in all of boxing, and it's an absolute hor horror show to try to get around it. But obviously, he believes that Javante Tank Davis can get around that jab of Devin Haney, and he also obviously believes he'll crack the defensive code of Shakur Stevenson. So it's just interesting. It's a great buildup for the sport of boxing, for these fights and these fighters. Uh, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson are the two fighters that's on Javante Tank Davis's list. But there's a bunch of talk and chatter that he could be facing. I see Pitbull Cruz in a rematch that in the first fight, I thought he won a unanimous decision. One or two fighters that didn't get knocked out or knocked down by Javante Tank Davis. But I thought he clearly won the fight against I see Pitbull Cruz. And I don't really see for a rematch. It was entertaining because Isaac Cruz pressured uh, Javante Tank Davis. Uh, he was aggressive in the fight, but I thought he lost majority of the rounds. He was active, um, but he lost. You know, um, nonetheless, I thought that was one of Tank Davis's best performances. Um, and many people thought that and claimed that Tank Davis was exposed in the fight. 
Some people was even claiming Isaac Cruz won the fight. That's just absolutely ridiculous in my eyes, point blank and period. I thought Tank won that fight running away. I didn't think it was close. I thought it was just, uh, it was entertaining and competitive. That's it. So let's see how this unfolds moving forward. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. It's your boy Blue. I'm signing off. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.